Godot 4 introduced lambda functions to the GDScript programming language. This feature lets you define new nameless functions inside of other functions. When connecting a signal, for example, you can directly define the callback on the same line instead of somewhere else in your script. This keeps your code grouped in one place and easier to read as a result. This video is sponsored by our Godot courses. You can currently pre-order your Godot 4 courses at up to 50% below launch price. If you're still learning how to code, remember to save this video for later. You can learn Gscript faster with our free app. It's up to date for Godot 4. The GDScript programming language supports lambda functions, also called anonymous functions because you can define them without a name, as seen here. Uh, so these mostly allow you to define functions in about any scope and to keep code like signal uh, connections, for example, and the callback function, the function that gets called when the signal gets emitted, uh, all together in one place. So for example, I could define a function within my function. Uh, to do that, to, to keep the function around, I can create a variable that will hold a reference to it. Uh, let's call it my function. So after the equal sign, I can define my lambda or anonymous function. For that, I'm going to start with the func keyword. As usual, I can type a name if I want, but it's optional. Then uh, I can type the parentheses. And inside of the parentheses, I could put any arguments uh, that I would need for my function, right? And uh, after that, a colon back to the next line, and I can write the body of my functions. It's the same thing you're used to defining uh, functions in your script except that the name becomes optional, right? And then inside of my function body, I can type any code. So for example, uh, I can print some text in here. Now, a little difference is that to call these lambda functions that are stored in a variable, uh, it's a bit different than usual. You have to write the name of the function and then they have a bunch of uh, functions. So for example, you have the call function on my function here that I can use to call it. Uh, but I can totally uh, use it when, you know, uh, connecting a signal. So I could connect the mob uh, died uh, signal here to my function, which is local to this script. Okay, so the main use case if you're getting started is mostly to group code in one place. So you could have functions inside of another function, but also things like connecting signals. You can group the signal connection and the result in one place. Let's compare connecting signals in Godot 3 and Godot 4. This is the same example as in the previous video about function literals. So I have little bats and upon killing them, I want to spawn a little cloud and increase the score. So I need to call two functions for that. In Godot 3, I would connect like this. So upon spawning a mob, I would call mob.connect, pass the signal, died, then connect to a function on uh, this script on mob died, so separate function. And then I would use the last argument to bind the mob that just spawned and have Godot pass it to the function when this mob would emit its died signal. And then you have the function uh, below on mob died and it calls my two functions, spawn perf cloud and increase score. And you're like, okay, it's fine. Uh, it does look fine here, but when you're working in production on something a bit more real, let's say, the script will be usually much longer. And so in one place, you will connect some signals and then you will have to navigate uh, to another part of the script to read exactly what the code is doing. So you have to jump around. And now in Godot 4, I can connect my signal and directly create a lambda function to call my other functions and don't have to jump around the code. And actually, I can simplify that. You see, I'm so used to the way Godot 3 worked that uh, I'm connecting the signal multiple times, but I don't need to. Here, I can just connect it once, create a lambda function, 
and inside of that function I call two other functions. And I ask the developers and it uh, appears that using Lambda functions doesn't really have a performance impact compared to creating uh, outer functions like these, so you can go ahead and use them safely. We are happy to announce the rollout of our GoTo4 courses in early access starting January 30, 2024. You will be able to access them directly on GDSchool, our brand new learning platform. Use coupon EARLYBIRD to pre-purchase your GoTo4 course now at up to 50% below launch price. The offer is valid until December 10 only, so share the news if you know someone who could benefit from it.